Whilst we saw basic unity in this country over the death of Her Majesty the Queen and especially during her funeral, we still have a lot of division. In Britannia, we had Leicester and you also have Brighton. Welcome back to the show, everybody. In the previous video, we talked about what's happened in Leicester over the weekend. But also, let's talk about what's happening in Brighton. The left eating itself. You have so many different groups right now under the big umbrella of uh, uh, radical liberalism, left-wing liberalism, whatever you want to call it, wokeism, regressive illiberalism. These guys, on the one hand, you have the, the gender lobby, the extreme side, the militant side. Then you've got the feminists who are being cancelled. Women are being cancelled by the other side. And now there was an absolute chaos in Brighton because you got the two sides attacking each other and no one actually wants to hear each other out. That's the main problem. My problem is that why did it always look like this? <laughs> What's with the pink hair? What's with the... I don't mind. I just don't understand the concept. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, he's clearly on a trans trust fund. And he spends the whole money on probably weed. But it is what it is. These people are coming out, causing trouble. But this is the highlight of the event. These two yet ladies, these two ladies were busy insulting a parent and a child because being a parent and having a child is now outdated as a concept. And you're basically promoting extremism. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to let you guys watch this. And then we're going to tell you about who that person actually is. Oh, you're raising a Oh, you'll get your pin on it. Wow. You're fucking fascist. Wow. You're not a feminist. You're a fascist. You think that's a good idea? To raise you're a, a child who believes it's filth. I'm sorry for your father. To raise a child who doesn't accept trans people. It's 2022. You're disgusting. Okay, so <laughs> raising a child is now... <laughs> you can't be an ally to any of these groups, even feminism, because you, you have a heteronormal family community and upbringing and friends and relatives this person is not just a randomer no 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 no. she her name is carly may cavanaugh she is a caseworker policy caseworker in parliament in the house of commons for one of the mps guess which mp yeah you guess right it has to be a crazy hard left labor mp lloyd russell moyle yes absolutely <laughs> <laughs> the guy who picked up the mace in the House of Common Chamber once and just decided to walk away with it and he didn't know what to do with it. So he just stood there until the, the House of Parliament, uh, the House of Parliament uh, authorities came and basically took it away from him. Now, the, his policy caseworker, who also says, I'm Carly, based in Brighton, Sussex. I'm currently head of policy. Head of policy for Lloyd Russell. Okay, for those who don't understand, I'm not familiar with how Parliament works in this country, she just made her job title look very glamorous. So you essentially have two types. I mean, well, three titles, but two. You've got the actual parliamentary researcher, which goes under the title of parliamentary assistant. Then you've got caseworker. She's a caseworker. Caseworker's job is not as glamorous. If you work for a backbench MP, regardless of which party, you're not the head of policy. You're a caseworker. Caseworkers get emails from constituents. They read through them. They pile them up. Sometimes they refer them to government departments or whatever. Sometimes, most of the time, they just copy and paste responses and replies and just reply to it. And with these cases, while very important for the constituents, they're not glamorous cases. They're very, very hard cases. They are very, you know, it's about... Uh, visas, it's about housing, it's about what's going on in the waiting list for the, to get a house, for example, and everything else. Head of policy makes it sound like you're some sort of advisor, some sort of very important person. But so Carly is also an NQJ qualified journalist. Be afraid, children. Be very afraid because she and people like her are the ones who are infiltrating and taking over all these areas. Political, cultural, societal, media, everything. So we have to call them out, we have to recognize the threat, and we have to have an honest conversation about how we're going to be defending this country and our values. Now we're going to come back in half an hour, we're going to tell you about the other side. What's going on with the Tory government, by the way, guys, these days? That's what you're going to find out in 
half an hour, subscribe to the channel. Amaya TCN, we are the media.